Windows 11 has been out for nearly half a year now and even though it's had a pretty positive response since it first launched, I'm still choosing not to upgrade from Windows 10 and in this video today I'm going to explain why that is. The first reason is to do with the performance issues and bugs that have been occurring. According to a few online sources that I've read, Windows 11 has had its fair share of performance issues and bugs. From numerous memory leaks like this one on screen that would happen when users switch between different editing clients to hard disk performance issues that have affected all storage devices like the NVMEs, the SSDs and the hard drives. I've even seen that some of the operating system's new core features like this one on screen have simply not been working. Now granted yes Microsoft since has fixed all of these issues I've just mentioned but in my opinion I think this evidence of these bugs occurring in the past is a good indication of why I think it's a good idea to wait before upgrading to Windows 11 until bugs like these are completely ironed out. The next reason is with the system requirements even needed to upgrade to Windows 11. Now you guys may or may not have already noticed that the specs needed to upgrade are pretty high and aren't even possible for many people out there, even including myself. According to Microsoft, you need to have a compatible 64-bit Intel or AMD processor or CPU. And a fun fact about this requirement right here is even my Intel Core i7-77K CPU isn't even on this list, even though I think it's got more than enough power to support it. And it gets even crazy as well because I've even seen some three year old CPUs that aren't even on this list and aren't compatible either which does blow my mind like you basically need a brand new CPU or a top of the line one to get Windows 11. On top of that as well Microsoft says that you need to have the TMP 2.0 security module which I've heard a lot of people don't have. I myself don't have one either and you also need to have a somewhat newish graphics card as well that's compatible with DirectX 12 or with the WDDM 2.0 drive. I myself, I do have a graphics card that is compatible with DirectX 12, but I know for a lot of people out there that have older cards, your cards probably only support DirectX 11 and not DirectX 12, which does suck, but that's just how it is. For the third and final reason, it's basically being unfamiliar with the operating system itself. As you guys know already, with anything new, there's obviously going to be some differences from the older version in comparison to the newer version, as it's probably been improved. With Windows 11, this is very true, as visually, it's it's changed a lot, it's obviously a lot more simplistic than it used to be. That's fine, but what concerns me is when the simplicity goes a bit too far and it affects day-to-day -day things like folders for example. As you can see on the top this is what the Windows 10 folders look like, obviously it's what we all know and expect. But below that you can see this is what Windows 11 folders look like. I myself, I'm not a fan of them and I think like why change something that's not broken? You know what I mean? Like I just don't see why they changed this specifically. But overall guys, to conclude this video, I myself will personally not be upgrading to Windows 11 until it's matured more as an operating system. Right now it's still in early days and yes this could take some time for it to mature but if you look at how long Microsoft's actually planning to support Windows 10 for, as you can see on screen it's it's until October 2025, which is like literally three years from now, which is insane. So we've literally got time for Windows 11 to mature, to become more stable and just overall more complete until we have to upgrade to it. So until then guys, I'm just going to sit back chill, keep an eye on Windows 11, and if I think it's at a point where I want to upgrade to it, I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade to it for completely free from having Windows 10, and that's something I highly recommend all of you guys do right now as well. There's no rush, we've literally got until October 2025, until Microsoft stop updating Windows 10 and sort of abandon it, so until then just chill and keep an eye on Windows 11. But yeah guys, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Have you upgraded to Windows 11? If you have, what's it like? And if you haven't, let me know why in the comments section as well. That's all I've got for this video guys. Catch us all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.